One, we have breaking news in the country cast. Country music Hall of Famer, rock and roll legend, and pioneer Jerry Lee Lewis has passed away at the age of 87 years old. The news was confirmed in a statement released by Jerry Lee Lewis's team to his official Facebook account that read, Jerry Lee Lewis, the last originator of rock, dies at 87. Rick Bragg wrote, Somewhere in the world, in a mean little honky-tonk or big music hall or church basement rec room, someone is playing a Jerry Lee Lewis song. Wherever there is a piano, someone is shouting, You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. Too much love drives a man insane. But they won't play it like the killer. Lewis liked to say, as if he needed to make sure the whole world was hearing him right hearing the pounding genius of it in songs like Whole Lot of Shakin' Goin' On, Breathless, and Great Balls of Fire, cause he liked to say, ain't but one of me. You broke my will, but what a thrill. Lewis, perhaps the last true great icon of the birth of rock and roll, whose marriage of blues, gospel, country, honky-tonk, and raw, pounding stage performances so threatened a young Elvis Presley that it made him cry, has died. He was there at the beginning with Elvis, Johnny Cash, Chuck Berry, Little Richard, Carl Perkins, Fats Domino, Buddy Holly, and the rest, and watched them fade away one by one till it was him alone to bear witness and sing of the birth of rock and roll. Who would have thought, he said, near the end of his days, it would be me. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. He suffered through the last years of his life from various illnesses and injuries that his physicians have often said should have taken him decades ago. He had abused his body so thoroughly as a young man, he was given little chance of lasting through middle age, let alone old age. He is ready to leave, his wife Judith said just before his death. Lewis, who performed everything from Over the Rainbow to Al Jolson, who played the Opry and the Apollo and even Shakespeare, was 87 years old. Judith, his seventh wife, was by his side when he passed away at his home in DeSoto County, Mississippi, south of Memphis. He told her in his final days that he welcomed the hereafter and that he was not afraid. Born into the Assembly of God Church in his hometown of Faraday, Louisiana, he never stopped believing even when his lifestyle made the specter of hell seem closer. His greatest fear that he would be condemned to a lake of fire for playing what many in his Pentecostal faith called the devil's music haunted him. He shared his fear with Elvis, who begged him to never mention it again. Lewis thought Elvis, also a Pentecostal, was the one person who might understand, but he died in 77, leaving Lewis to wonder alone. He had prayed every day across his long life for forgiveness and for salvation. His was a church that believed in miracles. Why, he sometimes wondered, should he not be one of them? He found peace near the end of his life in a simple idea, that a music that brought such joy to so many could only come from God. And the devil, he said, didn't have nothing to do with it. He said he was ready to be with Jesus, said Judith. Jerry Lee Lewis is survived by his wife, Judith Lewis, his children, Jerry Lee Lewis III, Ronnie Lewis, Phoebe Lewis, and Lori Lancaster, sister Linda Gale Lewis, cousin Jimmy Swaggart, and many grandchildren, nieces and nephews. He was preceded in death by his parents, Elmo and Mammy Lewis, sons Steve Allen Lewis and Jerry Lee Lewis Jr., his siblings, Elmo Lewis Jr., and Frankie Jean Lewis, and his cousin, Mickey Gilly. Services and more information will be announced in the following days. In lieu of flowers, the family requests donations be made in Jerry Lee Lewis's honor to the Arthritis Foundation or Music Cares, the nonprofit foundation of the Grammys, National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences. Jerry Lee Lewis was a true rock star and relayed that through his fiery performances and driving songs that moved fans. Jerry Lee Lewis solidified his career with many accolades, one being the Lifetime Achievement Grammy Award, and of course, stamping his name into both the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the Country Music. Jerry Lee Lewis will forever be in the hearts of music fans as he left behind a legacy that cannot be ignored.
A link for Rick Bragg's written tribute, which is on the official Facebook page of Jerry Lee Lewis, is in the description of this video if you wish to read all about the man who helped bring us rock and roll. Thank you, Jerry Lee Lewis, for all the years and the music. Our hearts and prayers go out to Jerry Lee Lewis's family and friends during this time. Guys, thank you for tuning in to CountryCast. That will be all for today's video.